You can fill a shoebox with little things like toys and toothpaste this Thanksgiving season and put joy and hope in the hands of a child this Christmas. Jessica Olinger is the Young Families and Children's Pastor at North Sound Church in Edmonds. Welcome back to Spirit 105.3. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, we're excited about these shoe boxes and what they represent. Yes, so are we. So explain how Operation Christmas Child works. Okay, so we at North Sound get shoe boxes that are red that say Operation Christmas Child on them. And our families here at church and whoever else wants to takes an empty shoe box and they fill it up with treats and prizes and art supplies, hygiene items. And it gets sent all over the world, these boxes, to children um, in third world countries or children in need who have never really heard about Jesus or received gifts in this way. And you pick which age and gender of child you want to send a box to so they aren't getting like a Barbie doll when they're a boy or whatever. <laughs> and they get stuff that they're going to be excited about. And then uh, Samaritan's Person, Operation Christmas Child, takes those boxes all around the world and gives them to children in need. What I love about it, Jessica, is that it's so easy and so fun. I know you have two little girls. How much do they love doing Operation Christmas Child? It's been a blast for the last three years of just praying over the child of who's going to get the box. They tend to pick their age and gender, so they pick a girl because they know they love these things. So the hair scrunchies and all of the fun, you know, princess whatever that I'm like, oh, that's a lot, but okay. <laughs> and um, they give it all, and they're just, it's so joyful. But my favorite part is getting our kids' church together and praying over these boxes and writing the cards. So we put in a little, like, a personal item, say like a note saying, here's who we are, here's our address if you wanted to send us a letter. And they just draw pictures and tell them about themselves, and we pray for whatever child's receiving the box, just knowing that God's going to use that special thing. I can just picture that. That is beautiful. Do you have a story about the impact that this has had on, on, a, on a child where you've gotten word of what happens on the other end and just how that's affected mm-hmm. them? That's my favorite part about working with the leadership team is you do get to hear these really great stories about, you know, the child who just lost both of their parents the year before in Haiti from everything going on. And it's just hard. And they get these boxes and there's that level of hope. And one thing I love is the boxes also come, they come from someone in the community who cares for these children, who sees the need. And so it's not just a present, it's also a touch point to speak life and hope into the lives of these children. So not only did this child lose both their parents, but they also had an adult leader in their village come to them and say, I care for you. Here's a gift. Let me tell you what Jesus has done for you and how much he cares for you. And then it's, it doesn't end there. That's where it gets to start. Wow. Jessica from North Sound Church, thank you for catching the spirit in Edmonds and really around the world. Thanks for having me.